The idea of storytelling in place of sales presentations has evolved as data visualization tools have also evolved. Telling a story paints a picture, bringing together imagery and perspective. Simply showing a table of data or observations about that data requires your audience to follow along point by point, connecting the dots. You risk your audience not understanding or shifting focus to individual data points rather than the insight you are trying to highlight. Let's look at statistics about the growth of data to illustrate the power of data visualization and how it enables you to tell a compelling story. Did you know that more data was created in 2014 and 2015 than all of history before that? And that it has been more than doubling since then? And we are on track to have more than 1120 zettabytes by 2025? More data is created every day than can be realistically stored. We need to look at machine learning and cloud-based solutions to manage our enterprise data moving forward. The exponential growth of data is staggering from less than a zettabyte before 2010 to 1,120 zettabytes by 2025. Traditional systems cannot handle this volume of data, nor can our employees process and manage it manually as they once did. We can't ignore the growth of global data. Exponential production of data, both individual organic data that we manage and enterprise data created through our analysis, is 44 times greater in 2020 than it was in 2009 and continues to grow. If we want to effectively manage and leverage that data, we must leverage advanced data automation tools and the cloud. This was a very simplified example of how we can present data and tell a story behind it. The first two would require a series of slides or supplemental data in order to present all of the data and insights necessary to convey our total message. But effective presentation of data through visualization allows you to tell a more complete narrative while your audience absorbs a visual story at the same time. You don't have to have an infographic-like picture to tell an effective story. But you should be thinking about the full narrative of your story and the best way to deliver that to your audience, whether you have two minutes or an hour to deliver. We're now going to break down the different considerations for building and delivering compelling presentations. 